Plus 535, welcome back. A little blue-green pill is the latest trend in illegal drugs turning up on the streets of North Dakota, and they go by many names, like blues, roxycodone, and roxies. Yeah, and agents with the Narcotics Task Force in the capital city have seized well over 4,000 pills in the last six months, and they may look like something you could pick up at a pharmacy, but as Renee Cooper reports, these little pills are processed in illegal, uncontrolled environments like any other street drug. Take a look at these pills. The big bag in the middle is filled with legitimate pharmaceutical grade oxycodone hydrochloride 30 milligram tablets. The small bag with seemingly identical pills are made on the street and laced with fentanyl. If you look very closely, you can see that these ones have a slightly greenish tint, whereas these are more of a blue. I sat down with a Bismarck Narcotics Task Force agent. I obscured his image and his voice for his safety. He tells me up until about two years ago, drug agents were seizing pharmaceutical pills for the most most part. Now it's predominantly these synthetic pills and they're becoming more common all the time. They're significantly cheaper to produce and they don't have to go through any legitimate means to get them. Now when people are purchasing these pills, do they think they're purchasing pharmaceuticals or do they know that they're getting synthetics? I think probably right away when the switch happened, people probably didn't know, but once um, opiate addicts got their hands on the fake ones, they Typically, they want them instead of the real ones because they're fentanyl. They're significantly stronger. This here is two milligrams of fentanyl, which is considered a deadly dose. So the pills are cut with anything from methamphetamine to heroin to acetaminophen. And these are not created in super controlled environments. One pill could end up with 20 milligrams in it, and that's a guaranteed death sentence for the person who uses it. <laughs> He says you can tell when a stronger batch comes to a town because overdoses immediately spike as high as 11 in 30 days. Back in December, the Dickinson Police Department sent out a public alert about a significant increase in fatal and near fatal overdoses due to these same pills stamped with M30. Since then, Lieutenant Michael Hanel says overdoses are back down, but the drugs haven't gone anywhere. Yeah, we're coming across them almost daily yet. The problem goes beyond law enforcement, constantly taking pills off of the street. It's cheaper for a person to buy these and use these than to go to treatment or to get on Suboxone. It's easier for them just to keep being addicted. There's not enough room in treatment facilities. They get to the point where they can't work jobs anymore, so they don't have any health insurance. It just spirals out of control. Reporting for KX News in the capital city, Renee Cooper. Now, as of right now, law enforcement tells us that all of these synthetic pills are being made out of state, which means that drug dealers have found a big market in North Dakota.